welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do a Dollar Tree haul. It has been forever since I did a Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree this morning, grabbed a few things that I needed, grabbed a few things that I don't need but wanted, and figured, hey, let's do a Dollar Tree haul since it's been such a long time. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and let's get started. So real quick, if you hear like a squeaking sound, in the background, you're hearing my flag post out front of my house. It is a super windy day here in Sarasota, Florida. We're having like major wind gusts come through and my flag is like making a racket out there. So that's the squeaking sound that you hear. Anyhow, I've got my coffee. So let's do this haul. Okay, so first of all, I picked up some of this Jot mailing craft paper. Um, I have gotten this before for packing and shipping, but I figured this would be great maybe to use in some upcoming projects that I have planned. So I did grab some of this. You get um, 10 feet of it. It's 30 inches wide by 10 feet. So you get a good amount. And then I didn't want to buy any Christmas stuff because I'm not yet in the Christmas spirit. I'm completely still into Halloween and fall and Thanksgiving. But when I saw these, I thought, figured I know how Dollar Tree gets. If you don't buy the stuff right when you see it, you often miss out on it. So I saw these cute little Joy Santa Claus hang. I don't know what they call them. They're just called decor. They're like, they're like, um, like an MDF board, uh, hanging print. But I was thinking these would be really, really cute for a Christmas journal. And I'd have to cut them apart a little bit. They're a little on the bigger side, but they'd be really cute for a Christmas journal. So I got one for the front, one for the back, and I'm gonna set these aside in my Christmas supply bin. Also, I grabbed another pack of my round doilies. I always grab these when I go to Dollar Tree. I use them for lots of different things. I use them for crafting. I use them for paper in my journals. I use them around the house. I use them like if we have, um, you know, friends over or family over and we're making like a charcuterie. So lots of different uses for these and it's always kind of good to just have some on hand. So I grabbed some of those. Then, of course, I have to grab my favorite snacks. <laughs> Who doesn't grab their favorite snacks from Dollar Tree? Um, I love the Wiley Wallaby Black Licorice. Now, you have to either love them or hate them. And I love Black Licorice. It has to be this brand, though. Um, I've tried other brands that I don't like as much. And I will put these in a little jar on my coffee table and I fill this up like once a week because I'm constantly snacking on them. I love these ones. Mention in the comments below if you're a black licorice fan or not. I know it's like you never get the in-betweens. You always get the love it or hate it. Another love it or hate it is circus peanuts. And for me, it's the texture. I love the texture of circus peanuts. I don't know. It's like that feeling when you were a kid of biting into play-doh <laughs> am i weird probably yes but i love circus peanuts my friend Kristen and i both whenever we go to dollar tree together we're both like stocking up on the circus peanuts they're so yummy and then my guilty pleasure is reasons and i will literally eat this whole bag in one sitting so that's why i only buy one bag because they are so delicious so again in the comments below, let me know what your favorite candies are and if you either love or hate licorice and circus peanuts. Okay, so let's get into the good stuff, the crafting stuff, because that's what I went to Dollar Tree mainly for. I had to stock up on a few things. Um, I grabbed some of these bamboo skewers. These are always handy to have um, for crafting and for cooking. I usually keep them right in my craft bin with all of my other wooden supplies. So you never know when you're gonna need some sort of a dowel or something in this shape. So they come in really handy and you get a hundred of them for $1.25. Um, then I just got a few little like random things that I don't really have plans for, but I thought that they would be good. You know, whenever I see little random things like this, I pick them up. 
um, just a little crafter square of fabric in the black and red check. And again, I was kind of planning ahead for Christmas on this one, but my cookbook journal that I'm working on now does have a little bit of red plaid in it. So I could incorporate a little bit of this in there. But again, this is one of those ones that um, it goes really fast. I find there's certain things at Dollar Tree that go really fast. And if you don't grab it when you see it, you're not going to find it next time you go back. So I did pick up some of that. Another cool place to look for like fabric stuff is in the hair section. And I found this cute little scrunchie. It's got a really pretty fabric. It's like a light pink with like an orange and green um, floral on it. And these are really fun to craft with and to use in your crafting or scrapbooking or whatever. Um, the scrunchie actually comes apart from this little scarf like piece which that's a good size piece right there and then you still have the scrunchie which you can use for other things so I bought that one and then I grabbed a pack of the head wraps they're like little fabric headbands stretchy headbands these make great um, if you're putting these like around a book, it's like a um, to hold like a scrapbook or a um, journal together. These are great for that. They're like nice and elasticy, and you can decorate them and you can use them for pockets and you can use them for belly bands and all of those other good things. So there's three different colors in that. So I grabbed a pack of those. My stomach is growling. I should probably pop open one of those <laughs> treats that I got. All right, so back in the makeup section, um, I grabbed a makeup blender sponge. These are really good for distressing whenever you're using your inks or your distressing stamps. You can use these little blending sponges, which work out perfectly, and they are a lot cheaper than buying them because normally they're like, I don't know, they're... Um, I bought some online and it was a packet and it was like $6 for the, the, um, the handle and the sponge. And so, yeah, I was like, you know what? I can just find this at Dollar Tree. So I bought an extra one of those. Um, I did buy some ribbon. Um, let me see if I have any more in here. I think, I think that's what I got for ribbon. Um, and again, this was in the Christmas section, but the red and white check is going to go really good with my journal that I'm doing now, the cookbook, the vintage cookbook journal. So I did pick up a couple of these. There's 12 feet in each one. I always buy Dollar Tree ribbon and there's a green and white one as well. And that was in the floral garden section, um, but I loved those colors. Those will be perfect in that vintage journal. Um, I have stacks and stacks and stacks of this ribbon, but unfortunately it's in my storage unit and it's buried and I can't get to it. So it's like now I have two whole separate collections of art and craft stuff. So I did pick up another one of these burlap and lace ribbons. Um, I use these a lot in so many different projects. Um, so there's 108 inches in it and it's just super pretty for an embellishment or whatever. And then some baker's twine. Again, I have a lot of baker's twine, but this color was really pretty and I hadn't seen this one. It's an olive and ivory color, very kind of vintage mid-century color scheme, which will also work well in my um, cookbook journal that I'm doing. So those were some ribbons that I got. Um, then more elastic bands. I think I did get two of these. Yes, I got two of the Crafters Square elastic bands. Or it's just a, it says elastic bands. I don't know if it's an actual band. Yeah, it's a, it's a band. Um, no, it's a, it's a huge, big, it's, it's a long piece. It's 10.9 yards. So it's not just individual like hair tie bands. It's a huge, big piece. So these, again, are great for um, journaling if you're making belly bands or if you're making, um, you know, bands to hold your journals together. I picked up two of those, a red and an orange. The orange is kind of like fall colors, so I didn't know if I'd be using that soon. And then the red can either be fall, you know, because I'm using a lot of reds in my cookbook journal that I'm doing, but also Christmas. Okay, I got some safety pins. 
and it's a three pack or I should say three different sizes of safety pins. I'm going to be doing a confetti bowl here soon. So I'm trying to grab a lot of like little tidbits and things to go in my confetti bowls. And what those are going to be is just little like ornaments and embellishments and accessories that you can do journals with and crafting with. And we're going to put all of the stuff that I've collected into a big bowl and kind of scoop it out and put it in little containers and they will be up on my Etsy shop. So I got some little um, safety pins. Um, I also found, this was actually in the hair section, but this was a fun little thing to find and to use. It's a brush and comb. So this is um, a little brush. I think it's meant for hair. And then there's a little comb piece right here. But this is perfect for, again, distressing and inking and like pulling apart fabrics or fraying fabrics or anything like that. That would be really handy to have. So I did grab one of these. Also, I found some different glues. Now, I've been just kind of struggling with glue lately because I've been doing a lot of paper crafting. Oops, I'm banging my camera here. I've been doing a lot of paper crafting and I've been having to like switch back and forth a lot between Mod Podge and Crafters Glue and glue with acetone in it. And so I want to try to find a glue that's more all purpose that I can use for a lot of different things. So I'm going to try both of these. These were both um, in the crafting section at Dollar Tree. This is just called Craft Glue. And it's a clear craft glue and a nice bottle with a, a pointy tip. So we'll try that one. And then there's also this liquid adhesive. Now this looks like it's more for, it says bond, bonds to most materials. So embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, trim. So we'll try this one as well and see if either one of these are more kind of universal than um, like making a Mod Pod mixture. Because what I've been doing is I've been just taking Mod Pod, Mod Podge and mixing it in a little bit of water and in a bowl and using a brush um, because that seems to be um, one of the better glues I've found that will actually hold things. But sometimes with paper and stuff, it will, because of the water, it will give it kind of ripply effects and I try want to try to avoid that. So we'll try those. Since they were cheap, we can try them out. Okay, then I found these burlap stickers. These are in the new fall section at um, Dollar Tree where all of like their Thanksgiving and fall stuff is. Thought those were super cute to either use as embellishments in a scrapbook or use them as binder clips or anything like that. Really cute. Um, some papers. Now, this is the first time in this specific Dollar Tree that I went to today. I go, there's, um, there's quite a few Dollar Trees here in Sarasota, Florida. I want to say maybe there's 10. Um, however, all of them except for one are in really bad shape. They do not keep them clean. There's stuff everywhere. I'm constantly having to dig for stuff. You never can find anything. Um, one is really, really well. If you're or I should say is kept up really well. Um, if you are from the Sarasota area or the Southwest Florida area, it's the one on Beniva. Um, it's actually on Beniva and I don't know what that cross street is. Um, it's, it's right near the Der Dutchman, which is um, a restaurant here in Sarasota. But the one that's on Beniva is probably my favorite of the Dollar Trees because it's kept immaculately it's a very big store they always have tons of things so i saw these crafters square papers in here i've never seen these before i picked up one of each um that they had they had four different ones in the package and they're crafting paper there's 24 sheets um all different prints i thought the colors were really fall like and perfect for this time of year so I loved that one with the little stripes and polka dots. Um, this one's really pretty with all the plaids and flowers and kind of like more fall flowers, sunflowers, that kind of thing. And then this one is more dark. It's got like the darker plaids, the darker, deeper reds. I'm going to be doing another journal um, for Thanksgiving and I'm going to use more of these darker colors in it. So I loved that. And then these are a little bit brighter. Um, these actually would go really good with the 
cookbook journal that I'm doing now and with kind of the more bright vintage looking colors. So I did pick up those. And again, if you see these, grab these because I've not seen them before. Okay, what else do I have? Um, I did pick up a magnetic notepad and the only reason why I have a million notepads, I don't need them, but I liked the color of this lined paper right here. So I'm probably going to cut some of this out and put it in my journal. So I always try to like find things that I can reuse in other ways. All right. These are not another nice thing to stock up on, especially if you do a lot of paper crafting. I think I have another one in here. I bought two of them is the little pop dot adhesives. These are great for giving like cards and scrapbooking images and pages and stuff like a little dimension because it lifts the, um, the photo or the image up off the sheet a little bit. They're like these little foam sticky double sided, um, squares. So you can order these on Amazon and they're pretty, I don't want to say expensive, but they're a lot more than $1.25. I think they're like five or $6 on Amazon. Um, so whenever I see them at the Dollar Tree, I definitely grab them because you get two sheets of them in here. So, and there's 384 individual little squares, which that's a good buy. Also, I picked up some more clothes pins, the little tiny mini clothes pins, and I think I'm going to put this in our confetti that we're doing. Jameson is super excited to do this confetti video with me. Um, so I did get some of those. They're, again, great for crafting, great for scrapbooking, great for journaling, all of that. Um, I didn't get too many stickers today. I usually get a lot more than what I ended up getting. Um, oh, there's the other one of those. I knew I got a couple. I only got a few. Um, I don't know. I didn't really see anything that went with the themes that I'm kind of working with right now. I did see this. So this was interesting. It's a rub on transfer and it's in like a wood grain image right there. So it almost looks like wood floor planks, which this would be really fun if you are doing like a scene in a scrapbook or a scene in a journal that had like a wood background, a wood floor, anything like that. And it's a rub on transfer. So that was a fun thing. I only saw one though. So I just grabbed the one that I saw. And then um, a couple other stickers. This one was just kind of like a little faux wood corners, some little embellishments, a few little tags down here. And I had to get this one. This is the Flamingos. My plan at some point, maybe after the holidays, is to do a vintage, um, like a vintage Florida um, journal with all kinds of like vintage images from landmarks in Florida, like popular landmarks and historic you know, things like histor historic places and obviously like the like the um, flamingos and the pink colors and the bright colors and just very kind of Florida. So I'm going to use that for that project. But again, that probably won't be till after the first of the year. Um, I also grabbed some napkins and they're these are the this is the new design that they just came out with for fall and for Thanksgiving this year. These are just regular table napkins and there's 14 in here. I'm using them to deco decoupage a pumpkin DIY that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be making a pumpkin and I'm going to do some decoupaging with these napkins. Um, and then I think saw this over in the kitchen section. This is waxed basket liners. Again, really practical to use in general if you do hamburgers and hot dogs or barbecues or anything like that, but it's paper and you can use it in journaling and scrapbooking and, and crafting as well. And you get quite a few of them in there. So I grabbed some of these because the colors again will work really good with my cookbook journal. All right. And then Oh, what else is this? Before I get to the cards, oh, this is um, this is Crafter Square insert card set. I don't even really know. It looks like it's cards. I liked the idea. It looked like there were. Oh, let's open it up. I don't even know what this is to be honest. It looked interesting to me, and I had not seen these. So, so it looks like it's just giving you supplies to make cards. It's giving you two little gold um cardstock pieces it's giving you um is this just one no two red cardstock it's giving you um like an ivory colored cardstock which is actually 
in the shape of a card. So there's an ivory and then also a pink, it's giving you a pink as well of the card stock. And then it's giving you four envelopes. So yeah, for $1.25, that's not a bad buy for all of those little pieces of ephemera um, to use. All right, so I'm gonna put those back. Uh, I'll do that after. But yeah, that's just called insert cards set. Cool. All right, then I bought some cards and I usually try to go through the card section fairly quickly. Just if there's something that pops out to me, I'll pick it up. Um, let's see, yes, okay. Um, so I just got this one right here. Lots of like Thanksgiving cards right now. This one I like because it had a lining so you can actually peel the words out and reuse like the, the lining underneath. You can reuse the red. You can, you know, cut out the images on the front. Um, I used to do a lot of like framed cards. I would take an, an image and cut out the image and put it in a frame and then almost make like a shadow box out of it with like a Dollar Tree frame. I do have videos in my um, in my video library on my channel for that. Um, and then I saw this one. I liked the, um, the, the pumpkins and the turkey on the front on this one. I thought that would be a cute image to cut out. And I liked the orange paper on the inside. So I picked up that one. Uh, I, another uh, turkey that I really liked, this guy right here, he's very vintage looking. And then you get some pumpkins in here. These make great little notebooks as well to put inside of pockets of journals. So if you're ever looking for like a quick, easy way to add some, some ephemera to your journals, like always go to the card section at your Dollar Trees. And then this is a Thanksgiving wish across the miles. I love that kind of um, primitive looking um, town. This reminds me of old Sturbridge Village back in Massachusetts. Very kind of New Englandy look, but very primitive. And again, it had this nice little border on the inside of it. So definitely be able to use that. And there's also some sparkles on there as well. So cards are a great way to add to your crafting projects. Okay, and last but not least, I grabbed one of these large sheets. I think this is wallpaper. Yeah, they call it wallpaper. It's the Mainstay, Main Street Wallpaper Creations, peel and stick, removable, and it's a brick. It looks like brick, but again, I'm gonna use this in one of my journals. Not sure which one yet. I might use this one in my Thanksgiving one that I'm gonna do, but it would also work in my kitchen one that I have going on now or my cook, cookbook one. So yeah, these are a nice size, they're 11 by 16, so you can cut them up, you can fold them so that you can make pockets and stuff out of them and you know, pull out flaps and pages and journals, but yeah, just kind of a cool, cool piece to get. All right, so that is it, you guys, for my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, stick around for more videos to come because I am gonna be posting uh, video number three in the series of the vintage cookbook journal that I'm working on. And I'll be doing that, if not tomorrow, over the weekend for sure. And also make sure you check out my Etsy shop. It is Shop Wicked Vintage on Etsy. And I will list, um, I'll put a little um, CAPTCHA right here. So you guys can scan that and go right to my Etsy shop and see what I got in there because I have lots of vintage stuff. S lots of it. Anyhow, hope you have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.